Have you ever wondered how AI can help you to quickly create coloring pages for Amazon KDP? In this video, I will show you what are the easiest AI tools in Canva to make coloring pages for KDP, and what steps you need to follow to create coloring book designs made with AI for Amazon KDP. So let's get started. To start with this coloring book, first of all, we need to generate the ideas for our coloring book. For this, I would recommend you to go into Amazon and start to search for niches that are not so competitive where you can stand out easier. Once you get some inspiration from here, you can choose a topic and we can move on into ChatGPT and insert our prompt, where I will generate at least 50 ideas for our coloring pages. So I'm going to be using this prompt. I want to create a princess themed coloring book for kids aged between 3 and 9 years. Suggest me 50 unique princess items for my coloring book. And I'm just gonna let it write it. Once we already have our 50 items, we can move on into our Canva homepage. On here, we just gotta go to the section of create a design and I'm just gonna click in custom size. Now in this section, we just gotta write 8.5 times 11. And we're just gonna make sure the measurements are in inches. And I'm going to click in create new design. To start with our design, we can add our margins. And to do this, I'm just going to go to the section of file. And over here, I'm just going to click in settings. And I'm going to mark this to show margins. And then again, and show print bleed. And there we go. We are complete with our margin. For today's example, I'm going to be using three options to create my coloring pages. Option number one, AI image gen. To use this option, we gotta go to the section of apps and over here we have to type in the searching bar for AI image gen and then we're just gonna click in the first option. Over here, I just have to click again in the first option. Like any other AI, we need to use it with a prompt that adjusts the best. So you can try on many of them. For today's example, I'm just going to be working with this prompt. Create a black and white image of a for a coloring book. I'm just going to go back to my ChatGPT and over here I'm just going to go and copy my item. And I'm just going to paste it into my prompt and I'm going to click in create. Now as you can see here, it already generated my image. So I'm just going to go and adjust it all the way till it fits in my margins. So I'm just going to go and place it over here. And I'm going to double click over it and then I can start to adjust my image. I'm going to click and done and now my coloring page is complete. A very good thing about this option is that we don't have a limit on how many images we can create even if you have a Canva free account. So you can get creative and start to make a lot of coloring page with this AI. Option number two, Magic Media. This option is very similar to the option that we just used. So we're going to make the same process. We're going to go to the section of apps and over here we're just going to search for Magic Media. And we're going to click in the first option. Once we're on here, we can see we have three sections, images, graphics and videos to create our coloring pages we can use the section of images or graphics this will depend on how detailed you want your coloring pages to be i'm going to show you how you can create your coloring pages with both of them so i'm going to start with the graphics section like we did with the other option i'm just going to be adding my prompt and i'm going to place it on there and then I'm going to look for the next word in my ChatGPT. So it's castle, so I'm just going to go and copy and paste it into my prompt. This app is different from AI image in. On here, we can control the type of graphic that we want for our page. So we're going to go to the styles and over here we can click in see all. As you can see, we can choose between all these options. You can use one of these ones to create your coloring page. So I'm just going to be using the doodle one. 
and I'm going to click in Generate Graphics. One of the things that I really like of this option is that it will generate four options for us to choose from. Even if we just like one of these ones, but we want to see more options like this, what we can do is just go and click over the three dots and it will give you the option to generate more like this. So I'm just going to go and click over it. And we wait a few seconds till Canva generate more options like this one. So I'm going to be using this one. I'm just going to click over it and it will add it into my coloring book. And there we go. I'm just going to leave it like this. So we can use the exact same process to create our coloring page in the section of images. I'm just going to go and insert my prompt. Over here, we can choose one of these tiles. I would recommend you to use Animate or Watercolor, but you can leave it like none. So the AI will choose the one that fits the best for your coloring book. And over here, we can also choose the ratio of our images. So I'm just gonna keep it in portrait. So it does fit into our design. So I'm just gonna click in Generate Image. And from here, we also have the same options. We can click in the three dots and we can generate more images like this one. So I'm just going to click over it and we wait till we get more options. And I'm just going to click again over the design that I like the most. So I'm just going to click in this one and again, I'm just going to adjust it till it fits into my margins. We can make it like this. And then we're just gonna crop it. So over here. And there we go. We already have our next coloring page with AI. In case you have a Canva free account, you have available 50 uses for free. Otherwise, you can upgrade to Canva Pro, and with this, you will get 500 credits every month. Now we can move on into our last option. Option number three Dali. We're going to follow the exact same process to use this app. We're going to go to the section of apps and over here, I'm just going to search for Dolly. And we're going to click in this option. So on here, we're also going to use our prompt. So I have it on here and I'm just going to go again and get another item. So I'm just going to be using crown and I'm going to copy and paste it over here. I'm just going to click in generate. So as you can see for this app, I have to change my prompt, but it also works to generate our coloring pages. And I'm going to make the same. I'm just going to click over it and then I'm just going to add it into my coloring book. To use this app, you only have three free credits as a Canva free user. But if you upgrade to Canva Pro, you can get 25 credits every month. Once we finish with all of our coloring pages, we can move on in to create our cover for our coloring book. For this, we need to open this page, ktp.amazon.com cover calculator. I'm going to leave the link of this page in the description if you want to get the exact measurements for your covers. So we just need to fill all the details for our cover book. On the section of measurements, we just gotta make sure we leave it in inches. And for the interior print size, we're just going to make sure we choose 8.25 times 11. And I'm just going to click in calculate dimensions. Now this page already generated the template for our cover page. What we have to do is click in download template. Now we can come back again to the Canva homepage and on here we're going to click again, create a design and over here we're just going to click in custom size. For this, we just gotta follow these exact measurements. The one that says full cover and these two. And I'm gonna click in create new design. Once we open our design, we just gotta upload our template. And for this, we're just gonna come to the upload sections and I'm gonna click in upload files. Over here, we just gotta go and find our template. And I'm gonna click in open. Once it's upload, we're just going to click over it. I'm just going to place it all the way till it fits in our corner. 
and I'm gonna pull it all the way so now it also fits into our design now what I would recommend you to do is just go and click over your template and lock it now we can move on into add our borders for our cover page and to do this I'm just gonna go to the section of elements and over here I'm just gonna be adding a shape and I can start to adjust it so it covers the same as it marks in our template if you cannot see because of the colors you can go to the transparency and you can make it less so we can place it in the right way there we go and I'm just gonna keep doing the same with the rest of the borders once we finish the rest of our borders, we can unlock our template and just delete it. Now we can go and place back the transparency of our borders. And we can even change the colors of these ones. This will depend on the designing for your cover. So I'm just gonna go and change the background so it looks more it's friendly. So because it's a princess, I'm just going to be adding princess elements to complete my cover. And to add my elements, I'm just going to go to the elements section and in the searching bar, I'm just going to type for princess. And I'm going to go to the section of graphics. Over here, we can start to look for elements that we like. So let's say that I like this one. So I'm just going to click in the three dots and I'm going to click in see more like this. So over here we can start to add similar elements into our cover book. So I'm just going to be adding this one. So I think I really like these elements on here. So I'm going to go and also add my title. And for this I'm just going to go to text section. And over here we can choose one of these templates. Otherwise you can go and add one title and then just change the font. So I'm just going to be using this one. And I'm going to add it into my coloring book. And I'm just going to change the color of my font. So over here, maybe I think it's nice and black. And I'm going to adjust everything. So something that I would recommend you to also add in this cover page it's some examples of the coloring pages that are in your coloring book. So parents get, get an idea of what they are going to get. So I'm just going to come and upload some of my coloring pages and then just add it into the back page of my coloring book. So over here and also this one over here. Once you finish all the details for your cover page, your coloring book is ready. Tell me which one of these options you're going to try in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.